Buyers are flocking to the valley to buy up million dollar properties. Scott Passmore is going to talk to a real estate expert to find out why these homes are such a hot commodity. It is still getting more expensive to buy a home in the United States and there is no relief in sight. New data from Zillow finds the price of the average home is up nearly 12% since this time last year, the fastest growth since 1996. Sunbelt and Mountain West markets lead the major metropolitan areas in annual growth. And if you guess Phoenix was on that list, well then, ah, you're right. <laughs> and get this, the New York Post finds that million dollar homes here in the Valley can't sell fast enough. So Scott is taking a tour of a prestigious property in Phoenix. What do we know? about this place, Scott. Guys, isn't that amazing when you hear that statistics? They can't build million dollar homes fast enough. When I first moved here in 1989, I bought my first house here at 29th Street in Camelback on a third of an acre for $100,000. But the difference, the interest rates were 10% then. So this uh, new build from 2017 is uh, right off of 38th Street, but halfway between Indian School and um, Thomas. It's a beautiful home here. 2,450 square feet, three bedroom, three bath. Uh, it's kind of a modern farmhouse, uh, very open uh, with all the gray finishes and uh, things that people love these days. The price tag, just over $1.1 million. It's only been on the market three days and they already have, uh, looks like a buyer. So we've got Trevor Halpern from North and Company here to talk about this madness going on right now. And you sit there and think, gosh, I mean, it seems like every home is over a million dollars these days, but that's just the way it is. It doesn't appear that it's going to change, does it? No, it doesn't. With a, with a market that's appreciating as rapidly as ours, average prices are $500,000 right now. So the average price of a home is five hundred. dollars So naturally, million-dollar homes are going to pop up. Why that. is it going on right now? I mean, there's a number of factors. Obviously, people want to live in Arizona, but why so expensive? Yeah, well, people people love moving to Arizona. And also, there's a, there's a bunch of churn in Phoenix itself. During COVID, during lockdown, people realize stuff like, I hate my house, it's time to move, or this thing doesn't work for us, <laughs> right, we need to right. remodel. So there was a bunch of churn that occurred just locally, moving up, moving down, that sort of stuff. I mean, when you hear that, uh, what, what's the uh, statistic, over 3,000 homes over a million dollars sold recently or something Yeah, like last year in 2020, it was 3,200 and something homes over a million dollars, which was a 56% jump over 2019. So we're going to check out the master bedroom here. This is the kind of home that's very appealing to people, isn't it? It Why? is. Why? Yeah, well, it's clean, it's efficient, it's a new build in an area of town that is mm -hmm. used to homes built in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Right. So you get a lot of what is new and, and good, efficiency, all that sort of stuff. Let's and it, show the, uh, uh, Arnold, come on in here to the bathroom while you uh, continue to talk about that. Nice little closet back there too. Yeah, so the, the, the floor plan is open, it's usable. Uh, these three bedrooms in this home um, work really, really well. There's a Jack and Jill bathroom between two of the bedrooms. So the space at 2,400 square feet is very, very efficient. So, you know, we always say that it, buying a home is the American dream for mm -hmm. people and couples. For some, it, it is become kind of a dream because things are so expensive. Yeah, it is. You know, it's the, the lower price ranges in Phoenix, there's a ton of competition. And if you don't have cash to put down, it's being, it, it is very, very tight and it's getting more and more difficult to buy. It's not impossible, right. but there's a lot of competition out there. And uh, we got to wrap, but if you're trying to sell your home to move up, most likely you're going to spend the equity you make in that home on the next home anyway, right? That's, that's right. You're going to take your equity and step it right up. Yeah. If the market goes down, it's going to go down too. All right, Trevor, thank you so much. Uh, gorgeous home. It would be nice to move right in here and make yourself at home. You just need one million dollars. <laughs> nice big fridge behind you too. So Thanks, Scott. Did you give them the story? I bought a similar home for a hundred thousand. <laughs> Will you take my offer now? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Come on, it's a hundred thousand. You'll take that. It's right? all cash. It's all cash. <laughs> Thanks, Scott.